Hello, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, so today's blog article, what's the focus? It's all about how do we build a level of confidence necessary to attract people who are richer than you, who are more successful than you. The, uh, I think the article is helpful for a lot of different people, but I wrote it in mind with the person who's, let's say, between the ages of roughly 26 to 37, and I'm picking those ages somewhat arbitrarily, but you're at an interesting stage in your career. Uh, you've developed the technical skills necessary uh, for your for your chosen profession. And matter of fact, you're probably doing reasonably well, which means that you've been brought in for the talk. And the talk is, to summarize it, that you're doing well, people like you, that you've developed those technical skills, and the next level is you got to bring in some business. Now, whether you're working for an investment bank, a private equity firm, a real estate uh, investment organization, even a consulting firm, uh, it's up or out. And the people that are going to be successful, the people that don't, you know, are not going to get laid off are those the people that control business. And right now, if you're in that age range, if you're that you know, associate level person, yeah, the clients like you. Yeah, they uh, you know, give you uh, uh, good feedback. But realistically, you gotta ask the question of if you left the firm, would the client come with you? And the answer is probably no. Which means that you've got to go out and develop some clients. You've got to bring in some business. And how exactly do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. Obviously, there's a whole tactical approach, and there are many uh, blogs that I've written that uh, cover some of those. But I want uh, today to talk about your, uh, your confidence because uh, I'll tell you, you either got the wrong kind of confidence or you don't have the right kind of confidence. And uh, what I mean is that you may feel very confident when you're hanging out with your bros and you may feel very comfortable with other people your level. But this game is won by those that can interact successfully with people who are a lot richer, a lot more successful, and a lot older than you are. So you've got to up your game. And in today's blog article, I discuss exactly how to go about doing it. Uh, it's a challenge. I'll be the first to admit, most people are not successful in making this transition but that's on them. There's no particular reason why you can't be successful. Uh, but there's some things that you're gonna have to do, there's some changes you're gonna have to make, and uh, I discuss that uh, in, in the blog. So hopefully you'll find it helpful. Uh, hopefully it will uh, maybe you know, change the way that you're uh, approaching your career at this point in time, especially if you've had the conversation or you anticipate that you might have the conversation or you know, in the cold light of dawn, you realize that in order to be successful, you got to bring in clients and the people that uh, you want to do business with are a lot different than, uh, than the people who are a part of your peer group. So uh, read it, think about it. Again, hope it gives you some good, uh, good food for thought. Uh, I don't really work personally with associate level people, so I'm not going to say if you want to talk about this, you know, fill out the form. Um, you know, that's really not, uh, not something that uh, I can uh, be particularly helpful uh, to you. I give you some resources in the blog that I think uh, might be. But I write it with good intention that I do want you to be, uh, be successful, so take it, uh, take it in that spirit. But as always, I do appreciate you being a uh, part of my community. If you are a senior level executive and you've got an associate that you know you think has got a lot, a lot of potential, but needs to be now focusing on uh, how they can go about developing the right kind of relationships to bring business into uh, into your firm, please pass this uh, along to them. So uh, until uh, until next time, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.